Do you know that horrible feeling when you just, I don't know, where run out out of human blood? You don't? Oh, that is, that, that is so weird of you. I mean, you have, you have to be the only one that does not drink human blood. It's what no one would say ever. Today, we're watching someone that is addicted to drinking human blood. This channel has gone way too far, and I am all here for it. <laughs> I don't know people from California, so 100% of the people that I know from California from now on, y'all drink blood. <laughs> My name is Michelle. I am 29 years old. Oh, hello, Michelle. I mean, there's two different types of looks that I would assume for someone that drinking blood. Either I'd say how Michelle looks or this. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't have that full costume, red uh, cape, red black cape, all of that good stuff, because this is a beautiful look. But I mean, I guess this works as well. Michelle, hello, and tell us all about your uh, blood drinking. I am a tattoo artist. And I am addicted to drinking animal blood. Oh! Oh, but Jesus, have I... Oh, I'm so happy now. I seriously thought it was human blood, that she got it, like, donated. Okay, it's animal blood. Tattoo artist drinking animal blood. I mean, goes hand in hand. <laughs> the fuck? Ugh. What animal, if I may ask? Pig? is as important as water to me. Oh! Stop that! Oh! And how is it not coagulating? Like, is she mixing it with alcohol or something? Because if she does that, she's just an alcoholic that uh, hides it behind blood, I guess. <laughs> what the... Okay. I mean, I, I guess we'll get all the details. We're 16 seconds in. I like to drink blood when I'm reading, when I'm relaxing, when I'm watching TV, when I'm painting. It's never a bad time for me to drink blood. <laughs> I mean, that just sounds like a middle-aged person with uh, red wine. Michelle has been addicted to drink. Why, the, why, why, why does it have it in a bowl? I, I, at the least, I have one of those fancy cups. And it's so much as well, like, how much are you consuming? Animal blood for the past 10 years. She needs seven liters a week. A liter a day? And you're recommended to drink like two liters of water per day? Half of that is animal blood. Yeah, um, this is reasonable. Wait, 10 years? Okay, we're doing the math. 3,640 liters? Or almost a thousand gallons for you all using the um, that measurement. <laughs> That people who drink blood also use. Maybe switch over to liters. <laughs> no, but seriously, what? That's so much. That's a, a, literally a liter per day. Over 10 years. I mean, it, did this start in just an iron deficiency? And her body just craves iron because there's pills for that. Satisfy her cravings and can't start her day without a sip. I wake up in the morning, I pour it into my coffee cup. Oh, there's like, why is she not washing her cups? It's just blood drizzling down here as well. And it's still, how is it not coagulated? I have so many questions. I drink it. I get energized. I like to cook with blood. What the? You? Okay, I guess uh, blood pudding. We got it in Sweden. That's pretty good. But cook with blood? Like what? Boil your pasta in it? I like to make it in soup. I like to cook it with stir fry. When I make Bloody Marys, I mean, she heard Bloody Mary and took it to a whole another level. God damn. Is that how it started? She needed to make Bloody Mary, but she didn't know the ingredients. And still, how is it not coagulating? I guess that there's just extremely easily available to get things that makes blood not coagulate, but still. I use vodka, hot sauce, and then I add the final touch. The blood. Yeah, like, like anyone needed that little extra detail. What, what? Okay, excuse me. What the, What sort of TLC behave? What sort of angle is this? We'll fill them from the top down. Have a bowl there. And then uh, stir in it a little bit. And also wear uh, literally nothing. And just show your uh, breasts. Like what? <laughs> Oh yeah, nearly a thousand gallons. 
Do you see? Both of our math checks out. But still, that was 11 years ago. So she, she has been over 2,000 gallons now. Or like 8,000 liters. How did her addiction begin? Begun, begin? <laughs> or at this point, 21 years into her addiction, she's probably bathing in it as well. Oh! I was lying. I said, how is it not coagulating? Oh, this is so disgusting. Pig's blood to beef blood. It was pig's blood, you see? I'm a culinary expert in the blood department, thank you. Because I prefer the gaminess. It's a little bit more salty than the beef blood. <laughs> she, she does not look like she's enjoying it. Look at her face again. The gaminess. It's a little bit more salty than the beef blood. Not a chance, this is for clout, 100%. The consistency is like that of wine, it's just slightly thicker. And it doesn't taste like wine, but it definitely has the same ambiance. And to each their own, but at the same time, no. I Also, I'm glad it's not human blood, as I said in the intro, because I was certain that this was human blood, and I was so... <laughs> Freaky word, like where the hell did you get all of the human blood from? Well, I mean, she said in the beginning, she has to get a sip even to get her day started. That addiction has gone too far and I need to know how the addiction began. I have to know. Because that interests me a lot, actually. How someone just, like, getting an extra bloody steak and like, hmm, yeah. This, I want to drink. Going down my throat. It's like... Having a cold and drinking a hot toddy. But to drink a hot toddy. Is it obviously, look at this. Is this a Caesar salad or like an uh, Americanized Caesar salad? <laughs> but that's like fully normal and delicious and nice. And then just blood. Oh my god. I get irritable without it. I get angry. I don't want to leave my house. Want my blood. I mean, this this feels like some sort of a, um, a not to assume anything, but it feels like she needed some sort of identity, and she chose to be the person that drank blood. I suddenly don't feel so bad about my, my chocolate addiction. You know what, Lauren? Reasonable. Why would you drink blood? You know what? This person asks the right question. <laughs> I suddenly don't feel bad about my Starbucks caramel frappuccino addiction. This is also one thing. I never understood the Starbucks craving. And also the weak ass American coffee. Like, what a brother in Christ, what is that? Well, that, that's a conversation for a whole nother video. There was this, um, yeah, there was this little longer video. Let me see if there's something interesting here. Otherwise, that's another nice video. significant and that could shorten her life <gasps> when she's drinking human blood i was not lying to you guys no she's honestly drinking human blood oh my god developing viral infections which can be life-threatening such as hiv and hepatitis are significant and who is that buffoon that's just like yeah Take more, bite, and suck. This sounds very weird. But what do you mean? So she is actually a sort of like going over to human blood as well. And also consuming an, an, another human's blood is a crazily bad. Like what? Isn't that like extended cannibalism? And yeah, well she, she also tells her mother. But that gets super, super sad. And also the doctor tells her that uh, she can basically die. By doing this. And then it ends with this. Drinking will not stop. But from where I stand now, my blood drinking will not stop. <laughs> Ooh, her mother breaking down, doctor saying, yeah, this will uh, probably kill you down the line. My blood drinking will not stop. I will persist. I'm not dead yet. Michelle is still addicted to drinking human and... I told 
Yes, human and animal blood. Well, on that note, if you do not drink human blood, subscribe. And also like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. I'll be out. Goodbye.